All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Paul is here. Uh, well, uh, as we see, the ban on ammunition, uh, the ban on certain types of rifles that, that they would call assault rifles, uh, it's full underway. And what are we seeing in Afghanistan where the United States government has lost a war, spent trillions of dollars uh, in a failed attempt to conquer a nation that just simply put cannot be conquered. Uh, all of the military might and prowess did not work and we're seeing the direct result of it. They said uh, Afghanistan is the country where uh, empires go to die and this is exactly what we're seeing. Uh, but the real reason and the truth behind the ammo ban and all of these uh, measures by the ATF and other organizations to limit the ability for the American citizen to protect themselves uh, is because they know what's going on. They know what's going on. That's the whole point is to limit or eliminate the ability for the American citizen to protect themselves. And they say, typically, um, the police are minutes away when seconds count. And see, this is why it's so important to have a full supply of ammunition. Uh, and this is what I wanted to talk about here because, see, uh, again, if you don't have uh, ammunition uh, the and the ability to train, you don't have anything. Uh, and so, you know, what I've been doing over the years uh, is making sure that I have a good ample amount of ammunition for my hunting rifles as well as my battle rifles and my handguns to ensure that uh, as the amount of supply dries up, because I see that's the goal. The idea is that, you know, if you don't have ammunition for your guns, your guns are useless. And so, you know, this is what I've been able to do. Uh, this is a 40, this is a rifle slug right here. And as you see, uh, this stuff can be used for self-defense as well as hunting. Uh, uh, very important. My 300 Winchester, uh, very important. Uh, and you can get these in a different uh, grains, uh, hollow point, uh, soft point. Uh, you got your infamous seven. 0.62 by 45 uh, right here for your AKs. You got your ARs right here. What you got here? You got your 45. And again, uh, you know, you only not only want to get this stuff in regular for practice and brass, but you want to get that hollow point stuff because it got it has good stopping power. This one is hollow point right here, as you see, as opposed to this one right here that is full metal jacket. And it took some time as a prepper to understand the importance of this stuff. But hey, you know, just like gold and silver, you know, brass uh, and steel is going to be very important. You got your uh, 357. 38 specials. You got your 40. Again, you can get this stuff. I was buying this stuff in bulk. Your infamous 22 long rifle that can be used for hunting. Hollow pointed. You got your 38 special right here. Now, again, uh, it's important not only to get all of this stuff, not only in full metal jacket, but I would recommend also hollow point. So um, uh, I use the majority of this stuff for training, but you know, when I am live in my car or my EDC, um, we're running hollow points. But you see, this is a 357, and you can get guns like a Taurus that'll shoot a 357 and a 38 special. And then you got your infamous slug. You see, this is different from this one right here. 
So you see the different options that you can get when it comes to ammunition, whether it is hollow point, different grains, different sizes. But these are different kinds of, of course, ammunition, which required different guns. And if you're going to have your little arsenal, you want to make sure that you have an ample supply of each one. Um, now, very important, extremely important, not only, you know, for uh, things like hunting, because you can use a rifle slug or 300 Winchester or any 308, 30 yard six, uh, or 762 by 39 or 223. Uh, I've used these for hunting as well. All of these I've used for hunting. Um, and it's effective as well as 22, but I'm going to be bumping up and getting me a Smith and Wesson 22 rifle, um, just for target practice, because I have a lot of these as well. And if you don't want to use up, uh, your main, uh, ammunition, uh, the best bet to do is to go ahead and buy a, a 22 rifle and a handgun, and you can train with that. Uh, and this seems to be the cheapest form of ammunition still out there. Um, but I bought boatloads. So when it comes time to train, I can train uh, uh, to make sure that you know, you're know you getting a good feel and draw of your gun uh, or your rifle uh, to make sure that you know it's just second nature. So when you have to pull it out and point and shoot, hey, you know those first two, three shots, they're the most important uh, to take down your target. As opposed to, you know, if you're shooting long range, I like uh, to shoot with this, and because see, uh, when it comes to deer hunting, they never see me coming with this thing. I'm so far away, uh, I don't even have to um, uh, engage them or put on any kind of uh, hunting gear because you know I'm three, four, five hundred yards away. Uh, so you know they don't see me coming. Uh, but this is the same in a situation where you know you have to snipe, or you're in a situation where you have to sh shoot long distance but still you got to train this is going for i believe five dollars a bullet and i purchased this for like three dollars a bullet now it's going five dollars a bullet i mean this stuff is expensive a buck a bullet i mean i got to check to see what how much rifle slugs or regular slugs is going for but i know that the uh the 357s they're going for a buck 76 a bullet you know this is a direct result of not only uh inflation which is the increase of the money supply. But in addition to that, it's dealing with the notion that there's going to be a decrease in uh, uh, production because they don't want you to be fully stocked. They don't want you to have guns. So it's a twofold process with these, these tyrants. Number one, eliminate the supply of ammunition. Number two, eliminate the accessibility of guns with any kind of high capacity rounds whatsoever. They don't want you to have this stuff. So you want to ensure that you have an ample supply. And there's certain states where, you know, you can't even have uh, these uh, drums. I mean, it's a damn shame. So this is why we say over and over again, get out of these tyrannies, um, uh, fascist, States like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, um, California, it all seems to be Democratic states that uh, want to uh, 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 take away your rights uh, to own firearms. So, again, you want to make sure you have a good ample supply uh, for all of your firearms for training, self-defense, hollow point. I mean, it's just critical, but um, I'm telling you, man, it's sad to see what's going on in this country, and it's going to get worse, but um, that's why it's important to live in a good constitutional carry state that respects the rights of homeowners uh, and citizens to own firearms, uh, because um, we're definitely going from bad to worse. Stock up. Make sure you have what you need. Uh, and not only for yourself, and, and a mutual assistance group is going to be critical uh, because everybody doesn't have the resources to do this. They may have a firearm, but 
hey, they're going to need ammo to train and practice because, hey, you know, this is a multifaceted uh, approach. What good is a rifle or a handgun if it doesn't have bullets? What good is a gun if you can't shoot it properly and hit the target? Um, what good is it? Training. And critical, critical training. Stockpiles, critical. They're coming for it. Be prepared.